Hey everybody, the Bong is here ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Little Samson for the NES and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. I actually heard of this game through a stream and I gotta say, it's really good. Basically, a Dark Prince got resurrected or broke through a seal of some kind of magic. And now the kingdom's in disarray and now we gotta send like four doves to find some heroes. Yep, that's how it goes. And what are these four heroes? Well, you're gonna have to take a look. We'll play this on normal because you can't play the entire game on easy. You got little Samson, who's a little boy, of course. Kikira the dragon, who's of course a dragon. Gam the golem. And you got Ko the mouse. Now, for this, you have to play one level with each of them. So we'll do Samson's first. He's just basically the important character of the game, and he attacks by throwing bells at his enemies. Ow. So it's a very unique character that he can actually throw bells at you, and he can also stick to walls. And he can climb them too. And he can stick to ceilings as well. So, he'll come in handy through most parts. Isn't that pretty cool? Oh, well, that's got some health there and it's gone. Yeah, luckily you can increase the maximum amount of health you have just by grabbing an item. You have to make sure you get it though, of course. Trust me, this game can be very difficult on normal. There's no messing around with this. So in a way, this game is kind of similar to Mega Man. To an extent. I mean, you move around, you try to hit enemies. Try not to get hit yourself. And of course, falling into pits is death. So there's nothing new. Well, other than the fact that you can select multiple characters at a time to control. So that is quite different. But fun all the same. I definitely rec recommend you give this a try if you're into these kinds of games. Is it just me or does a giant heart look like a butt cheek? Or a bunch of ass cheeks? Come on, use your imagination. There we go. Okay, of course you can press pause and I believe that gives you more health. If you were to run out. So it's kind of like an E-Tank. To an extent. Hey, how you doing? I guess I have to go with you. Alright, now I can play as Kikara the Dragon. Well, technically, you can play them in any order. Now, her attack is basically just like shooting fire in a J pattern. The only thing that's different is she can actually charge her attack. And she can also fly. Well, I don't think she can fly, it's just like a hold the A button and you can stay in that point of the air. try to avoid the tornadoes. And you can actually hold this as long as you want, too. Which should help you out if you're right above a pit. Unfortunately, she cannot stick to walls like Samson can. Uh-oh. Oh, that was supposed to happen. Okay, so the tornadoes don't hurt you, they just push you away. But still, it's a good idea to avoid them. Otherwise, you'd be pulled into a very difficult spot. There we go. This ain't too bad. 
Not like, of course, the game gets harder later, but that's like that for all games. This is nothing new. The game would suck if it got easier at the end. Really, it would. Ooh, an extra life. Just like Mega Man. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I'm a dragon, but I'm not harmful. Except the enemies. Okay, now it's time to play as the golem. Okay, basically his attack is more of his punch. In other words, it doesn't have a lot of range. The only thing is it can actually be aimed in four directions. He can also be very strong, take a lot of damage. The only flaw is, of course, he can't jump very high and he moves very slow. Another good thing is he can actually walk on spikes. So that's a very good feature for him. In other words, for most parts when it comes to platforming or navigating through a level, Gam will really come in handy. Ow. I didn't know that was a shot. Seemed harmless at the time. It's going so slow. Ooh, that was close. Oh, I need some health badly. Oh, good health. I was in a bad spot, though. I got lucky. There we go. Just don't attack them when they're big. You wouldn't be able to do much anyway, if anything at all. Eh, hey, hey. gotcha. And you too. Nah, I was trying to get all three of them. Okay, that level wasn't too bad. Alright, next stage I gotta be KO the mouse. No choice here. Now her drawback is, or his drawback, is that, well, obviously the HP is very low. Another thing is the attack is bombs. Kind of like Samus from Metroid. But, I mean, it's still very effective. Which is a very weird way to attack. It's like I'm shitting up bombs. I don't know how that works in hurting enemies, but apparently it does. It also means you'd be put in a bad spot since most times you had to be very close to the enemy for the bomb to work. So that could be an issue all by itself. Or you have to wait for the enemy to come to you, therefore coming close to the bomb. That was close. Ah, see? That's bull. Actually, I think I'm better off taking the top path. Even though I had to deal with these enemies. There. Perfect. Okay, so the bombs have a little bit of range, but it's not by much. Ah! You just have to make sure you line them up perfectly. Ah, come on, you. I'm surprised they're still able to survive that. There. Or sometimes you, you probably think you're better off just dodging the enemies. I think that's what I'm going to do at this point. I already got a potion, so let's just keep going. Eh, finish the level. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're all gathered around and here's our mission and whatever that is. Looks like a giant bell. Oh, more like a teleporter. Huh? Um, do I have to fight, Kikira? Apparently I do. A 
Unfortunately, she will attack the moment you attack, too. That might be a good thing based on where you are. Unfortunately, I can't reach her this way. I get a distance, I would have a really good chance. But up close, no. So just make sure you time yourself perfectly. Sometimes it's a good idea to stay really close. Like to the left, really. Okay, she's almost defeated. There, I got her! Okay, hopefully you'll be back to normal. Come back to your senses, you! See? We need to work together! And there's a password if you really care. Yeah, four digit password, that's pretty good. Okay, so basically this is our first actual level. Looks like ruins. And you can select your character at any given time! How about that? Okay, I'm gonna stop the video right here. Next part, we'll go through the ruins. See ya, everyone.